This video will demonstrate percutaneous reduction using osteoclysis and fixation of displaced phalangeal neck fracture. Thomas is a nine-year-old who was playing football sustained this fracture eight days prior to being seen. At the time of surgery, the fracture was not reducible. Osteoclysis was performed using a 0.045 K-wire placed into the fracture to manipulate the reduction. Subsequently, using the Strouch technique, a 0.045 K-wire was passed through the proximal phalanx head across the fracture surface. Thoroscopy was used to assess pin fixation. The K-wire was then removed as the fracture had provisional fixation. Malrotation was checked. The K-wire is then drilled in a retrograde fashion and out, out the skin. The metacarpal phalangeal joint is avoided. The K-wire continues to be withdrawn until it was within the proximal phalanx and the PIP joint. Fluoroscopic guidance is used to assess adequate withdrawal. The PIP joint is now mobile, and the K-wire is then drilled antegrade across the middle and distal phalanges. Here the K-wire is passed directly down the small finger into a percutaneous position. The K-wire is then withdrawn until the wire is within the proximal phalanx and not the metacarpal phalangeal joint. Wow. Adequate fixation of the fracture is noted and the K-wire is in good position that is cut short. Post-operative x-rays at four weeks show interval healing with anatomic alignment. The K-wire is removed and range of motion instituted.